We first click on Scan and connect the controller. Click on Wait for binding and confirmation. Then click on Parameters. Open Professional Mode. Change the temperature sensor to zero. Otherwise, the controller and motor temperatures will be different and abnormal. After saving, return to the chart. Click on Auto Learn. At this point, the controller has entered self-learning mode. Next, we need to lift the rear wheels and slowly turn the throttle to the bottom without letting go. The motor may stop or reverse during rotation, so don't worry. Continue turning the handle. When the interface displays a throttle error, it means that the controller has completed self-learning. Here, we can wait for the controller to reset and try turning the throttle to see if the power is normal. After completing these, we can adjust other parameters. Click to open the professional mode parameters. The throttle response and throttle ACC step here are related to our starting and acceleration. There are three modes of throttle response, sport, economy, and line. If you want to start more faster, you can adjust it to sport. For safety reasons, it's recommended to change it to line. The throttle ACC step is usually 64,128, 224, like the throttle response, with 224 being the fastest. Then, let's take a look at the throttle voltage, which usually doesn't need to be changed after completing self-learning. However, some voltage values may be exaggerated. Don't worry, we will tell you how to change it. First, return to the simple mode and then switch to the chart. Let's take a look at the throttle static voltage. This motor displays 0.82. Switch back to the parameter page and find the throttle low. This parameter should be higher than the static throttle voltage. That is higher than 0.82. Here, I set it to 0.85. This way, there won't be any idle position on the accelerator. Switch to the chart again. Release the throttle and accelerate to check the max voltage of the throttle. The throttle high should be higher than the max throttle voltage. Here, I set it to 4.3. After adjusting everything, let's click Save and continue watching. Next, let's take a look at the ratios in speed. Many people call it flux weakening. Here, we can see that the original parameters of our controller gradually decrease from large to small. We do the same when adjusting. For example, from 1500 RPM, we can change it to 90 and then to 80 slowly decreasing. Remember not to change the current limiting ratio to with 100%. Otherwise, the bike will not only lack power, but also damage the motor and controller. Let's continue. Someone asked about how to disable kinetic energy recovery. We find the function, click the follow, and select disabled to turn off it. Finally, let's take a look at the PID parameters that everyone has been discussing. If it is a hub motor, we usually adjust the AN here within the range of 0 to 6. But don't think that the larger the parameter, the better. AN is related to starting efficiency. Some motors are suitable for zero, while others are suitable for four or other values. You can try repeatedly between zero and six, but it must not be blindly changed to the max. Let's take another look at the adjustment of LM. Firstly, you need to know that LM is related to the resonance of your motor. The value should be 20, 26, 14, 12, 11, 8, 5, try to find the one with the minimum resonance or the one without resonance among these parameters. Repeatedly, if there is still no effect after repeated testing, the LM parameters need to be changed back to 22. Now, let's have a look at the speed loop, what you see as start, mid, and max. Many places will guide you on how to change these three values, but I can responsibly tell you that these three values have nothing to do with power. These values are used to adjust the resonance of the motor. If the resonance is not too excessive, there is actually no need to modify this parameter. The basic adjustment of the controller has ended. Here is a summary. Everyone can bookmark and save it. Thank you for watching.
Goodbye.